What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today the Pangu Jailbreak team finally released their Mac version of the untethered iOS 8 jailbreak. So I'm very happy to bring you guys this video, I know many people have been waiting for it for a while. So in this video I will be showing you how to jailbreak untethered on iOS 8.0, 8.0.2, and 8.1 your iPhone 6 Plus, your iPhone 6, 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, iPad, you know, all the way down from the iPad 2 to the latest iPad Air 2, including all the mini series and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, the great thing about this is that this latest jailbreak includes everything, all the latest fixes, all the latest changes, so you're pretty much getting the most optimized and best iOS 8 jailbreaking experience. And yes, this is untethered, so if you reboot your iPhone, it'll boot up just fine without a computer, so this is the latest and greatest iOS 8 jailbreak. And guys, sorry about my voice, I know it's a little different, uh, I am a little sick, so it's gonna sound a little bit different, but anyways, I'm going to be showing you this process on my iPhone 6 Plus, running the latest iOS 8.1 firmware, and I just want to go through some preliminary questions, some, you know, a little preparement before we actually go through this jailbreak, just so you guys get the best experience possible. So the very first question I want to address is why jailbreak, and a lot of people get stuck on this, because iOS 8 is a great firmware, it introduces a lot of new features into iOS 8, you now have Control Center for easy access to everything, why would you need a jailbreak? Well, a jailbreak is more than just adding features. It changes the look and feel of your device to something fresh because your device is usually so locked with Apple's ecosystem. The only thing you can really change now in iOS 8 is the keyboard and notifications. You can add some widgets here, but besides that, there's not much you can do. Well, with a jailbreak, for example, you guys can change the system font. Just such a small little tweak can change the look of the device from, you know, just the home screen to the entire look and feel of the device. Also transitions, I mean, this is just a couple things, but these little things do change the look of your device, how it feels, how it works. There's so much you can do. You can add functionality. You can change so much on your device. It's really cool. And with iOS 8, there's a lot of developers that are jumping on board and introducing a lot of cool things. For example, on the iPhone 6, you can enable rotation, whereas it was only available on the iPhone 6 Plus. Just such a simple little thing, but it can change the look and feel of your device dramatically. Well, is iOS 8 jailbreaking legal? Absolutely. It's still protected by the DMCA Act, so it's 100% legal. You don't need to worry about any legal issues. Is it safe? Yeah, absolutely. It is safe. Now, the only reason I would add a precaution to jailbreaking is if you're running an older device and it has a ton of data on it, then it might, you know, you might see a little impact in speed, but generally, jailbreaking is very safe, very stable, and it won't impact the speed of your device at all unless you have like 20 tweaks running simultaneously. But otherwise, it's great. I mean, with iOS 8, super stable. There have been many releases of Cydia, Mobile Substrate, even this jailbreak tool. So you're pretty much getting the very best. Will jailbreaking void your warranty? Unfortunately, yes, it will void it but it's not as bad as you think because once you do have the jailbreak on your device and you have Cydia and Apple sees that, it does void your warranty. The good news is it's really easy to remove a jailbreak. It's as simple as restoring it and Apple will never be able to tell that you actually jailbroke your device in the past. Now, unfortunately, if your device goes dead, uh, they will be able to find out, but you can't restore it without the screen working. If you crack your screen, you can still restore it and it's great. I mean, they'll never even know. So it is very safe. Unfortunately, it does void your warranty while it is jailbroken, but if something happens to your device, just unjailbreak it and, you know, send it in for repairs. Okay, and now there's just a couple things we need to do on our device preliminary in order to begin this process. So in settings, I want you guys to do two things. First off, enable airplane mode. This is such a simple little trick, but just by enabling airplane mode, you guys can skip a whole bunch of errors you usually would experience, so it pretty much just makes this experience better. Next, go into Touch ID and Passcode and remove your Touch ID or Passcode in here. So this is only for the duration of the jailbreak. Of course, you can enable it after, just during the jailbreak, you wanna make sure you have no passcode so it doesn't interfere in iCloud. Sign out of iCloud, remove Find My iPhone. You don't wanna do this jailbreak if you have either one of those enabled. So if someone else is signed into it, make sure that they're signed out of it and then go ahead and go through this jailbreak. Now you can still do it with the jailbreak, just, I would recommend removing iCloud because it does interfere in some instances. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. Now our device is prepared. Let's go ahead and head over to our Mac or Windows computer. Either one, it does work. And let's go ahead and jailbreak iOS 8. Okay, so you guys wanna make sure to plug in your device to your computer and you wanna download one thing and that's just the Pangu application. And I'll have links down below in the description to where you can download it directly. So in here, right click on it and select open. And if you're on a Windows computer, you wanna right click on it and select run as administrator. 
you know, we select open. And now we get this beautiful interface for Mac. I'm glad we waited because you could get everything, you know, all the latest fixes in this one release. Anyways, it's as simple as selecting Star Jailbreak. Make sure you did all of those things that I did tell you. And one more thing is in iTunes, you guys wanna go and back the device up. So in iTunes, you guys just wanna select backup now to this computer. So just in case anything goes wrong, you have all of your data backed up and you know the chances of something going wrong aren't very high, but you never know what could happen. So make sure to read all of this. It just basically tells you put your device in airplane mode and back it up. And if you have a lot of data on your iPhone, basically the chances of it failing are higher. So anyways, free up space if you can, but let's go ahead and select already did and the jailbreak will begin. So I'll stick with you guys just so you know what's supposed to happen, what should I know. You know, for new people that are new to jailbreaking, this can be kind of kind of stressful. It's an expensive device, so I will be here through the entire process just to let you guys know what should be happening and what shouldn't be. But generally, I'm sure you guys will have a great experience with the jailbreak. There's just so much that's already come out with iOS 8 that you can do, and there have been a lot of cool tweaks. And I have videos that you can click on and watch all the latest tweaks that you can install immediately after doing this jailbreak because there's already so much support. And one of my favorite things is emulators. Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, you know, Nintendo in general, it's really cool. Basically, you could do that on or before iOS 8.1, but now Apple did patch a little hole, so you guys do need a jailbreak in order to install emulators. And of course, I will be covering pretty much everything from emulators to tweaks to themes on iOS 8. I love making those kind of videos, and I know you guys like them too, so I will be showing you guys all of that. Now during this entire process, make sure you're not actually interfering with the device, just set it aside, don't touch it. It might restart a couple times, that's perfectly normal, that's how it should be doing. And anyways, in a moment here, it should restart, and then we will be jailbroken on iOS 8. Now for the people that have already jailbroken, there's no reason that you need to redo the jailbreak. If there are any updates, they'll be in Cydia, just go into Cydia and refresh, and you should see all of the latest jailbreak updates in there. But Anyways, my device is restarting right now. And uh, on our springboard, we should have Cydia. Cool. So you'll see Cydia and that blue Pangu icon. This is basically just another way to manage some stuff besides Cydia. Anyways, in Cydia, open that up. It's gonna take about five minutes to set up. So just open it up, let it load. And in a minute here, I'll be right back. All right, so my iPhone has restarted and now if you guys go back into Cydia, you should be able to open it up. Now, the first thing you guys wanna do is go into changes and uh, hit refresh. So any of the updates that you do see in here, you wanna immediately update to. And if there are any, usually they will ask you to restart your device um, in the moment here. Looks like I'm already up on latest everything, so that's cool. Anyways guys, if you're wondering what to do from here, I'll have some videos down below you can click on that'll tell you a lot about jailbreaking iOS 8, what you can do, but there is so much you can do. I mean, if you're on Verizon or any other carrier that charges you for tethering, there are you know several tethering tweaks that'll allow you to get free tethering. You can change the look of your device with themes, tweaks, the functionality, just change up a lot of things, pretty much free up what wasn't able to be freed before. So jailbreaking in general, there's so much you can do. And if you guys subscribe, I will be showing you pretty much everything that there is, all the cool things. So that's pretty much it guys. You are now jailbroken on the latest iOS 8.1 firmware. And you know, just as a little warning, iOS 8.1.1 is coming out very soon. I showed you guys in my other video, it was already released to developers and it's pretty much gonna kill the jailbreak. The Pangu jailbreak will no longer work on 8.1.1. So make sure you do not update when that is out. Now there's a very high chance that the jailbreak will work on 8.1.1 with some small modifications, but it could take a little while but don't count on it. You know, don't update to 8.1.1 unless, you know, me or some other developer does say it is okay to do so. All right, guys, well, that's just about it. If you follow this video correctly, you're now jailbroken on iOS 8.1, 8.0.2, or iOS 8.0 on all those devices listed. Now, this is fairly stable jailbreak. You know, a lot of people were having trouble at first, but now that a lot of the issues were ironed out, it's a lot better, and there's a whole bunch of new tweaks coming, a whole bunch of new things, so stick around, and I'll be showing you guys all of that but in the meantime, make sure do not update iOS 8.1.1 if you do want to keep a jailbreak and you guys will be fine. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy your jailbreak and all the cool things you guys can do with it. Have a great day. Peace.